Drink and Smile Terrell. So glad to have you here. Sending all my love. I hope everyone's doing well. Hope everybody's healthy. Doing great. I was sitting here trying to contemplate if I should use this deck or if I should use this one. These are both self-made cards. Like, not I'm not the uh, owner of the actual card. Um, but um, <laughs> the wording is on them. I'm trying to figure out. So I've been sitting here. I've been shuffling both sets. So I decided to put that one away. So maybe this is the one that I need to use. Okay. <laughs> We're going to see here. Spirit, what do we have for the collective? This is going to be for the collective, my loves. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. If you're not new here and you're just tuning in and you're coming back, I mean, um, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad to have you guys back. Thank you so much for your support and love. It is amazing. It's amazing. If you're a hater, go on ahead and click off. You won't like what you're going to see. Okay? I already know. You don't like what you're going to see. All right? You don't like it. So why are you here? Okay? Thank you. Okay? Spirit, may you please bless my dear collective at this time. May the messages that may give them clarity. Any blockages, may they please be removed, Spirit, at this time. Thank you, Spirit, for all the abundant blessings. Thank you for the covering of their homes, their loved ones. Thank you so much, Spirit. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, let's see. Thank you. Amen. Let's see, Spirit. What's here for the collective? Some of these may come out um, reversed. I don't read these in reverse, okay? I used to, but I was like, you know what? It doesn't make sense. Summon. Summon is the first card out here, Okay. Someone's trying to summon you. Oh, dear collective. Someone's trying to manifest you back in. They could be using dark magic, whatever it is. They could be using just energetically trying to bring you back in. Won't let you go. Okay. And then we have trapped. Okay. Someone's trying to bring you in to trap you. Be very careful of those that are um, sexually active with someone right now. That's just a side note there, okay? okay? What else do we have going on here? What's going on here? I have easies in so long, you guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> They're behind all my tarot decks, so. Um, Spirit, what is it that you'd like the collective to know at this time? So, okay. Someone's trying to, to, to manifest you back in just to trap you. Someone feels that you've gotten away. Somebody feels you've gotten away from the, you got out of their fingers, fingertips. You're the one that got away and they're trying to bring you back just to trap you. Okay. Wow. What the fuck's going on here, collective? Let's see. Spirit, what do we have here? Leaving something old to die. I want the new things in life. So a lot of you are leaving something old behind. Something that no longer is serving you. You've walked away from something. I love... <laughs> guys, I actually love, like, <laughs> shuffling these. The cards feel beautiful. Um, let's see. Spirit, what else do we have here? What else do we have here that the collective needs to know? my friends so we have you can forgive yourself you are worth it my dear collective go ahead and forgive yourself for leaving something behind okay forgive yourself it was an it was something that was needed overcompensating for my guilt feeling shame somebody's trying to come in and overcompensate but i feel like i feel like somebody's trying to like get you to come back to them in a way without having to let you know they want you to come back to them if that makes any sense let me see, does that, okay. Unhealthy attachment, breaking free from all the hurt, drama, and pain. I feel a lot of you are leaving something behind. You're getting away from something. Then we have, just thinking about you keeps me awake. I miss it all. 
someone's missing you. They're trying to manifest you back in, but it's like to trap you. Spooky. I've been hurt inside. I pretend I do not hurt. So I feel like somebody's been hurt inside from something else, and they are bringing that to your doorstep. Okay. Yeah. Like, what the actual fuck? Like, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clarify these with a small tarot deck. Yeah, with the tiny ones. My tiny babies. Okay, Spirit, what's here for the collective? What's here for the collective, Spirit? Leaving something old to die. I want the new things in life. Oh! Someone wants to sneak back in. Someone doesn't want you... You sneaking away, you're sneaking away from somebody, but don't doubt it. Someone knows you're trying to get away from them. Someone knows it, and they're trying to summon you back in. If that makes any sense to any of you. I'm not going to take these that fell to the floor. We have one. The Seven of Swords, okay? The Seven of Swords. Someone's trying. Someone knows that you're sneaking away, but they're sneaking back in. It's like you put a burden down. You got away from something, but somebody wants to put you back in that cage. It's like you freed yourself and somebody wants you back. Somebody wants you back in it. Can you forgive? You can forgive yourself. You're worth it. Oh, God, you guys. These little cards be all over the place. You can forgive yourself. You're worth it. We have the page of cups here. Offer yourself that love, okay? It might be a page, but it's a start. Overcompensating for the guilt, for for my guilt, feeling shame. Okay, yeah. See, someone's now clear. Someone feels guilty for trying to confuse you, for trying to manipulate you. But I just feel like this is like a way for them to con their way back in. Unhealthy attachment, breaking free from all the hurt, drama, and pain. Look at that. Unhealthy attachment, breaking free from all the hurt, drama, and pain. The devil. Clarified by the devil. Unhealthy attachment. I mean, you guys, <laughs> for the devil to clarify that, how can people just not, like, think that tarot is just bullshit? I don't know how people, like, it really is not. And remember, this is a general, so this is not for everybody. But someone's having, you're, you're breaking away from something. They're trying to re bring you right on back. You're break, you broke free. I feel a lot of you have, broken, broke, have, break in, have gotten out of this trapped cage. You got out of this trap cage, okay? And someone's trying to summon you back in. Just thinking about you keeps me awake at night. I miss it all. Look at the Eight of Cups. Okay. I've been hurting inside. I pretend I do not hurt. What is this spirit? Yeah. you see my minions? Oh, they're right up there. Uh, that. I'm mommy. The first or the second? I'm mommy. Oh, I think they're the ones that fell behind I'm that mommy. desk. Hi, mommy. Hi, baby. I've been hurt inside, and I pretend I do not hurt. We've got the nine of cups in the reverse. Somebody's wish is not being granted. It's like somebody wants you to be, yeah, you've placed judgment on this. And if they, if you haven't, spirit definitely has. Spirit definitely has. Do you see it, honey? Something fell. There it is. Okay, so, it's, um, sorry about that, you guys. My love had to get my daughter stuff. Um, so, you're leaving, you snuck away from somebody. You snuck away, okay? And I feel like a lot of you had to do this this way because this is the only way that you're going to be able to get away without somebody trying to pull you back in. But now someone's noticing that you're leaving Somebody notices that your energy is being taken, you're taking your energy away. Now it's time to offer yourself the forgiveness, okay? Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. You are worth it, okay? Stop feeling guilty for letting something go that was unhealthy, okay? Somebody's overcompensating for the guilt. They're feeling shame. Somebody's trying to come back in and pull the wool over your eyes because they try to make you confused. You're no longer confused. You're out of that confused state, okay? Somebody's feeling guilt for that because now that you're awake and you see it for what it is, now they don't know how to come back in and let you know, hey, look, I tried to pull the wool over your eyes. I did some fuck shit. You know, they're not trying to let you know that. 
period. Unhealthy br attachment breaking free, the devil. You're getting away from something toxic. If you want to know if this person still is toxic, yes, they are. Especially with what the fuck they're doing here. Summon. It's like somebody's using some type of energy magic. They're, they're doing some type of energy to where they're manipulating a situation. Or they're bending will. It could be magic. It could be energetically. Whatever the fuck it is, okay? But it's 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 attached to the devil. Something here is attached. Something Somebody wants you bound to them, like in control of you. Just thinking about you keeps me awake at night. I miss it all. You walked away. You walked away. Eight of cups, okay? Eight of cups here. You walked away. I've been feeling hurt inside. I've been hurt, feeling hurt inside. I pretend I do not hurt. Nine of cups in the reverse. Somebody's wish is not being granted. Somebody feels hurt inside because they thought that you were going to be the one to like, uh, they thought they were going to be able to control you. And it doesn't look like that's what's happening, okay? It doesn't look like that's what's happening at all. It doesn't look like that's what's happening for this person. And I think they're pretty pissed about it. But hey, uh, uh, hold the fuck well. That's all I got to say. Somebody can't, you can't control somebody else's destiny, their life, their decisions. If someone wants to go, you let them go. And I feel a lot of you let this person go. Four of wands in the upright. Four of wands here. Four of wands. You snuck away to get to your happiness. A lot of you could be with someone else now. A lot of you don't have to be with anybody at all. Whatever, whatever, whatever resonates with you resonates. But there's someone here that you, you got away from. And since you got away from that person, okay, you're able to make yourself happy. Maybe your home is happy. Maybe you feel more peaceful in your home. It could be either way. So what else is here? We got the emperor. Yep, taking charge. Doing what you have to do. Okay, becoming more spiritually, um, becoming, I don't know, I see the scroll in his hand. I think you've done gained knowledge that you are your own boss, that you can forgive yourself, that you don't have to be in illusions. You are your own boss of your own life. You don't have to be trapped and summoned by somebody or bound to something. You're breaking free from unhealthy attachments. You're breaking free from them. So now that you, now that you, um... Now that many of you are starting to become the, your own boss of your own home, of your own life, of way things are going to go for you, how structured you can have things without somebody coming in that's just negative, okay? That just gives you hurt and drama. Somebody that just likes to keep you in it. You walked away from that shit. You walked away from it. And now look, now you have, your home is probably beautiful. You're probably about to get a new house. That's beautiful, you guys. Your apartment, home, whatever you want to call it, it's beautiful, okay? Because it's your own. You're able to be in charge of your own feelings, of your own mindset, of your own happiness. You snuck away from something to get to something better. And it's like you knew you had to do it, not that you wanted to, but spirit, spirit greets you well for that. Spirit greets you well for taking the chance of doing what you were shown to do, okay? Shown by the divine to do, and you did just that. We have the Nine of Cups again in the reverse. Somebody's wish is not being fulfilled. Somebody does not like the fact that you are doing these new things, that you are becoming your own boss, that you are becoming your own. You're you're the you're the, in the driver's seat here, okay? And you have God directing you. You have God in the seat. You have God in the seat next to you. Somebody wants to be that. We have the Page of Wands in the reverse. That's that's not good news for somebody. Right by the devil. Oh no. Oh, no, dear, how dare you walk away, get untaxed from my unhealthy habits and my unhealthy energy and go towards something to be better. Just thinking about you hurts me. It may, I miss, I'm missing it all. You walked away. Somebody's missing something that you provided for them. Maybe it was comfort. Maybe it was money. Maybe it was your resources. Whatever the fuck it was, you ain't, you, you ain't buying it now. And they're mad because their wishes are not being fulfilled. We got the Nine of Cups in the reverse and the Page of Wands in the reverse. A very, could be a fire energy. Uh, there's a lot of fire here, okay? There's also water. Okay, we got Aries Leo Sag. Could be uh, dealing with the Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Don't have to be, but let's see, Spirit. What else do we have here? We got the Eight of Coins in the reverse. It just isn't going to work. Whatever somebody's here trying to do, they're upset, they're mad, it's bad, news. it's bad news for somebody. They just cannot take you out of your out of your corner. They're trying to summon you and trap you back into something here. Okay, I'm not going to keep saying the word summon because I keep seeing it there. Y'all are probably like, wait, what? Summon? Okay, no. Just, just, no. Okay, hold on, guys. 
<laughs> Sorry, I had to laugh. Yeah, but it's like somebody, they're not, they're, their wishes are not being fulfilled. It's not good news. You're not working on something anymore. You walked away from something. You put the work down. You stopped paying attention to it. You stopped focusing on it. Now you're the emperor. Now you're focused on something else. Something else, something more better, something more healthier for you. And how I know it's because it's just four wands. You snuck away. You're leaving something to die. You're letting it go because you want the new things in life. And here they are. Four of wands and the emperor. The best, the, 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 out of this whole entire row, this is the best two cards I see here. You forgiving yourself, you giving yourself that apology. You giving yourself that apology and accepting that apology. You forgiving yourself because you're worth it. Someone's trying to come in and overcompensate for the hurt that they did. Okay? That's how you know somebody's being fake. Because they're overcompensating. Somebody might come in and sound like, it's going to sound like it's too good to be true. Nine times out of ten, the motherfucker is. Okay? Something ain't right here. Be careful with that shit. Because somebody sees that they couldn't get what they wanted. And so they want to come bother you. They see that you're leaving. You're, 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 you're detaching yourself. Ace of Swords. I'm telling the truth. The truth is being spoken. Somebody here, you're not working on something anymore. And somebody here is just upset about it. To a coin. Somebody wants you to like, um, Queen of Swords in the reverse. There's somebody here that's just like, basically just evil. They're evil. They they don't want you to work on what you have coming for yourself. They don't want you to be in this energy of being the emperor and being in charge of your own life. They don't want you to forgive yourself. They want you to sit and wallow in sorrow and feel confused and sad, stuck, you know. It's weird energy here. Let's get out some more of my made cards, you know. Let's just try to see what we can get out of heal. Okay, but heal. Spirit, give me three cards here. Or four. Whichever one's from my collective. Those are perfect. Thank you, Spirit. Put those right out there for me. Appreciate it. Lock door, change the locks. Okay. Isn't that funny how we got the four wands standing up here? That could be an environment that a lot of people say, twin flame. Okay, yeah, you could say that too. But lock the door, change the locks. Triggered. Someone's triggered. Someone's triggered here because you are doing different. You're doing better. More than friends. Someone's trying to come in and be more than friends with you. They don't even want to be your friend. They're going to come in acting like they want to be. But they want to be more than friends. Want to make amends. Somebody wants to make amends. They want to make amends for the things that they've done wrong. Keep going, Spirit saying. Keep going. No matter how triggered. It's like you guys got out of something. You got out of something and you did it slick. I'm surprised the Hermit isn't out here, Virgo Energy. You 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 got away from something. Be happy that you did. Hostile. Somebody's upset. Somebody's hostile. Somebody's like upset, pissed off, you know. It's like somebody's like, fuck, they got away. They got away. Now I got to try to summon them back in and keep them trapped. Somebody's trying to pull your energy back back in. Where you pulled, where you reversed your energy from, somebody's trying to bring it on back in. Okay? Somebody's trying to bring it on back in. They want it back. They're like, gimme, gimme. Oh, excuse me, baby. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And you're like, no, no, no. They want to make amends, but it's like somebody's going to... I feel like somebody's going to use... Something to try to entice you to come back into their life, okay? They're going to try to use something. Be very careful because I feel energy here of guilt trip. I don't know why I'm feeling that. Something didn't go in somebody's favor. It didn't go in their, you know, in their favor. So, Spirit, what's triggered here? I want to see what this trigger card is. Let's see if this can cl uh, clarify. Okay. We have differences. I didn't think you needed an explanation since we didn't establish anything serious. I'm sorry if I hurt you. Okay. So I think that here, my dear loves, my dear collective, you were seeing something as someone just playing games. You found out somebody was doing probably something else on the side or whatever. You didn't think you needed to give an explanation. You really didn't think you needed to because they were already doing their own damn thing. And you are apologetic if you hurt this person, but that's not what you were trying to do. You're trying to get somewhere to where you can be more happy, to where you can be more self-sufficient. Somebody was trying to keep you trapped. 
okay? Why they did um, unhealthy things. Some of you, this person had sex addiction. I don't know where I'm getting that from. Uh, there was a sex addiction here. Some type of addiction that you probably weren't aware of. Careless. I didn't see your worth until it was too late. You didn't deserve that. Would you forgive me? Yeah, here they are. Here they are. Now, there's a difference here. You can go on ahead and forgive somebody. You had your differences, okay? But it's like you felt more like you wanted to be more of... You wanted stability. Somebody wanted to play. Those are two different energies, okay? And someone was careless. They didn't see your worth then, okay? They know you didn't deserve that. But, like, it's like they're coming in with this excuse of, oh, I know you didn't deserve that, but, you know... Here I am, you know, like, can we make amends? You know, can we be more than friends again? Spirit saying, keep going. Spirit said, lock the door, change the locks. Okay? You snuck away, you got away from something. You got out of being trapped from something here. And someone wants to bring you back on in. You need to forgive yourself for doing what you need to do for yourself. Forgive yourself. Spirit's giving you the green light. Do not feel bad. Bad karma's not going to come upon you because you decide to get from someone's grip. Grip. Grab, whatever the fuck. <laughs> Someone's grip. Someone has you inside some type of manipulation. Somebody has you confused. You saw that seven of cups that was in the reverse. You're no longer confused. And now some of you might feel tinty, tinty, tinty bit of guilt. Stop and get out of that. That's that guilt trip I was feeling. Don't let somebody make you feel that way. It was an unhealthy attachment and you broke free. The devil's here in the upright. Just thinking about you. I miss it all. Eight of cups clarifying that. Okay? No. Somebody here was careless, okay? They didn't see your worth then, and I'm really surprised. I would be really surprised if this person saw your worth now. Let's get some of these out, Spirit, okay? We're going to do the Hidden Truth Oracle here. Okay. The hidden Truth. Um, you know what? Hold up. I want to bring out some of these. Okay. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I was thinking about it at the beginning of the reading, but I didn't do it. Okay. Ooh, don't went off of the cardboard. Okay. Spirit differences. Clarify differences. Okay. Shallow, hollow, empty boredom. Somebody here is very, like, they get bored very easily. They're very shallow. They look at things on the outside, not within. That's why... You didn't think you need to give this person an explanation. They didn't, you know, you weren't really thinking they gave a damn anyway. They were doing their own damn thing. That's why I'm telling you, a lot of you need to forgive yourselves for this, okay? Don't let that, I feel that guilt trip energy somewhere here. Don't let somebody try to guilt trip you back in, okay? Because what they're trying to do is they're trying to bring you back to trap you. So be very careful, okay? And it doesn't just have to, be very careful if you're sexually active with someone that's from the past. Because they're going to try to trap you. Which means that they can't even bring a baby into the situation. A baby they really don't want, but it's a way to keep you around. No one deserves that. Especially no new life bot. No, 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 no. No. I don't think God makes that, uh, creates accidents. I don't think so. I think that if you get pregnant, there is some reason for the baby being here. But you have your choice of what you want to do with that. Free choice, whatever. But somebody here is shallow as fuck and they only look on the outside. They see you doing good. They see you being an emperor, being a boss, being happy, being within your home. Whatever it is, whatever thing you got going for yourself that you built, you're the boss of it. And now somebody wants to come along because they see this person's shallow. They're hollow on the inside. They don't, they don't have feelings. It's not like they, wow, you worked so hard to get that together. Can I come in and help you build? No, because this person, you had to sneak away from them. And now you got to forgive yourself for doing it. Someone is doing something here. Careless spirit. What's careless about? What's this careless energy spirit? Clarify that for me, please. Thank you. We have resistance. Secret admirer, suppressing, timid. Somebody's like resisting change. Somebody re is resisting the fact that they were careless. Somebody is your secret admirer now. Now they're watching you. Now they want to be a part of it. Now they want to pop up. It looks like this girl's in the water. Want to pop up. Boop. Surprise. Like <laughs> Suppressing. Somebody's suppressing emotions here. Okay. They were careless with you. They were careless with you. Now they're feeling. Now they're trying to resist that they were careless. I feel that somebody's trying to risk the fa resist the fact that they were careless. They didn't see your worth. They resisted you at the beginning and you got away. You got away. Somebody didn't see your true worth and it was for a reason. Pride, arrogance, ego, stubborn. 
too prideful to come to you and talk. So what they're doing, trying to do it energetically, trying to do it um, energetically, uh, emotionally, trying to manipulate, emotional manipulation. Somebody's trying to get you back here into an unhealthy situation. You were so attached to something that was so unhealthy and spirit saw that and spirit gave you a way out of that bird cage right here. I'm not even joking. And somebody is trying to get you to come back into it. They want to make amends. But Spirit's saying, lock the door, change the locks. And remember the Ace of Swords here. You stop working on something. You stop putting your all into something. All your energy into something. All your all your resources. All of what you have to get something to work out. You got tired of it. You snuck the fuck away. Leaving something to die so that new things can come into my life. And that's exactly what you did. Because somebody here didn't want to face that truth. Now they're seeing they didn't see your work. Now they see how careless they actually have been seeing you being in this, uh, in charge, this emperor energy. And for some reason, I feel like it turns someone on that you're in this emperor energy, but that's not enough for whatever somebody did here. That's not enough for the trapping that they're trying to do. So it's like somebody sees you bossing up. That turns them on seeing you being a boss, seeing you being in charge of your life. So what that's actually doing is making them want to break you from that. It'll turn somebody on so much to be able to break you from being able to be your own boss. Somebody wants to break you from all that healing you've done, all that, all that, that, that freedom you have. Somebody wants to put you right back into a place where they're like, oh no, you thought. No, collective. No. I compare others to you. Of course they do. Now they know how careless they are or how careless they were. Okay, you snuck away. Now they have nothing to do but to compare. People that they end up dealing with or whatever. All the options or whatever the fuck this person might have had going on. Okay, around you. I feel somebody had sex addictions. Like they sleep with everybody. I have too much to lose. I have too much to lose. I feel that's you. I feel that's you, collective. I feel somebody compares you to others and then you're sitting here like, I have too much to lose. I have too much to lose. Somebody's trying to bring you back in. They're trying to bring you back in mm -hmm. with their shallow ass. I need security. Look at this. Someone needs you for something, okay? They need you for something. I admire you. Do you see that? It's funny because this energy is kind of weird. What it is is that somebody sees you being in the light, being in your own, in your own power, and it turns them on. It makes them feel like, wow, how can I break that? How can I break them? How can I put... Take them down off that horse and break them down and make them adore me. Put me on the pedestal instead of putting themselves up there. Be very careful. Spirit's telling you to lock your doors for a reason. Somebody can admire you, that's fine. Let them admire you from afar. But I would not let nobody come in and break all this healing you've done. You left something. Okay, let me show you this. Leaving something to die, I want the new things in life. Okay? And you snuck away from it. You got away. One of the seven swords ain't always a bad sword. Bad swords. You had to sneak away. Now you have to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for getting out of something so toxic. Something that was not in agreement with your with what you want. Somebody here wants to like bring you back in. It's like it's like a um it's like an energy where it's like you know, I see you doing so well. I see you doing so good. You are an authority figure. But I can break you away from that. Some people might get off on that type of energy. But it's not very funny when it's actually your life and your sanity at stake. Because you felt trapped. This was something you felt. It's like somebody wants to take over your life. They want to take over what you feel. How you move. They want to be the boss of you. And have you give them Put them on a pedestal. Make them feel special. Make them feel prioritized. Just to take all of your work away from you. Your self-worth. All of that. So you can give it all to them. Be very careful. Okay? Be very careful. Somebody needs security. And they feel that coming into your life. And causing you to break down. And get back into this unhealthy attachment. Is going to make all the things work out for them. Because right now they're feeling silly. They're feeling stupid. Their wishes are not being fulfilled. And they're resisting the fact that they they were careless with you. They're resisting that fact. They don't want to look at it. They're shallow as fuck. Somebody looks at things from the outside. They see you doing well. I mean, the four wands with the uh, with the emperor. I mean, they compare you to others. Of course they're going to compare you, but there is no comparison.
There isn't one. They're wasting their damn time. Y'all dealing with somebody silly. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys, that's what I have for you, okay? I hope that this helped, okay? I hope that this gave you some clarity and whatever may be going on. If there's anything you need to know, it's down in the description box. Sometimes we have a hard time finding that. It's okay. Go to the About on the channel, on my channel, and you'll find whatever you're looking for, okay? Sending love and light to you all. I hope that you have a beautiful, beautiful Sunday, and I will be talking to you later. Sending love and many a hugs. Take care, you guys. Bye for now.